So the dilemma is this. How are artists and creators like us, who are never taught the complexities and insider knowledge of the entertainment and arts distribution business, who take all the risks while the middlemen reap the lion's share of rewards? How do we take control of our artistic destiny, grow an audience of raving, die-hard fans, and manifest financial freedom for ourselves and our families, and yet still have time and energy to consistently release culturally meaningful creations? That is the quandary, and this podcast will give you the answers. My name is Jason Brunizer, and welcome to your phenomenal future. Hey there, this is Jason Brunizer. I am uh, coming to you from my house here, just walking around after a workout. It's a hundred and some degrees today. I worked out in the garage, which is pretty toasty. We certainly have midday sun here. So. I wanted to talk about, you know, planning and goals and <laughs> the world's attempt to, to kind of throw a lot of wrenches at us, a lot of problems. And, uh, you know, I follow a, a regime for my workouts. I work out every day and I, uh, you know, I try to hit those goals. Today is a good example. I, uh, I didn't quite finish yesterday's workout, so I went ahead and did today's workout and followed it up with all of the things I missed yesterday. I won't go into those details as to why I missed it, but, um, you know, we have plans, and we don't always have control over the external world. It's a good example. I got a lot of dry grass back here. I want it to be green, but we're in the middle of a drought. So do I choose to water, you know, I have a well, but do I choose to just siphon all the water out of the ground because I want green grass? No, I kind of have to let that go, right? If I want to be a good steward of my environment. Now, I also had a big problem where I, I'm in a reasonably new house here. I've been in it for a couple of years and we just ran into some problems that were unforeseen. There was a what we thought was a little water leak on the inside. We started opening up the walls and it turned out to be a giant leak. Here you can see I've got uh, I've got some contractors that have been doing some work here fixing a problem that was not planned for. And that's just the way of the world. Now I could just get all crazy about it. You can see all the kind of stuff that they've torn apart. You can see I get crazy about this, you know, and get frustrated and pissed off that the previous owners didn't do something that they should have and it turned out to be bad, or they did shoddy work and it turned out to be bad. But you can see, we've got scaffolding up there. It is a crazy amount of work. They basically tore one, corner, one quarter of my house apart. They had to take off all of the stucco. They had to take off, um, uh, all of the sheathing, there was mold inside, so we have to do mold remediation. And, uh, oops, oh, sorry for the video there. There's a little bit of, what is going on here? Um, it, it's a lot of work. It's gonna cost a lot of money, and, you know, what makes this worse? My insurance company isn't going to cover this at all. So, what do I do? Roll up in a ball and cry? No. Just have to swing with the, you know, go with the punches and try to roll. I might have to spend a lot of my own money, but that's the cost of house ownership. We are having problems with this video. I really apologize. I think I need to to do some scan, uh, battery, battery work here. Um, but that's my lesson for today, right? We just gotta, we gotta go with what. <laughs> <laughs> what the world is throwing at us and in this case it happens to be video problems uh, so <clears throat> couldn't have happened at a better time here yes I'm uh, having a little bit of issue so <laughs> the video could have been better but it is real it is real today I am having to roll with a lot of punches and uh, that's all I have uh, for this little kind of mindset corner <laughs> for you on the Phenomenal Future Project and podcast and all of that good stuff. I will talk to you later. You are a phenom, a phenom artist, 
creator, maker, musician, painter, sculptor, writer, storyteller, but most of all, you are a phenomenal human being. Because I know you conquer fear. You defy age and bridge divides. You connect hearts and bring joy. You grow with purpose to heal your community and you embrace who all of us are becoming. Please subscribe to this podcast or channel to accelerate your success. And please share this episode with three friends who you know deserve a phenomenal future just like you.